Tammy. You are so kind and generous. Thank you ever so much for inviting me to your cozy off-campus cottage. It's so wonderful to break free from those sterile dormitories. I remember those dorms. I had a roommate who was just a huge asshole. My roommate has taken up a lover. A lover? Saucy. I've decided to take up a lover myself. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I recently obtained a compact disc of the popular musical artist, George Michael. His vocal stylings, they do something to me. It's like a physical trance that I get into. It's, I just, I'm falling in love with him. Well, we can dream. I've decided to write George Michael a letter. He needs to know that our hearts ought to be one in marriage. Sarah, he's gay. Brad. Are you saying that he prefers the love and tenderness of another man? Yeah. All right, um, oh, okay. I have really taken a liking to that other popular musical artist, the Latino one. Ricky Martin. <sighs> that, um, the blonde guy from NSYNC. Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go get you some tissues. Mm. Okay, I like older men. What about Gandalf from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Loves the staff. Elton John. Gay. Liberace. Way gay. SpongeBob SquarePants. Asexual. The yellow Teletubby. He's not not gay. Face from Nick Jr. I've grown fond of Brad through our study gatherings, our times we spend together, and his mustache is so becoming on him. Yeah, men becoming on his mustache all the time. Brad's so gay. How did you not notice that? <laughs> God, Sarah. Oh, let it out, girl. Oh, God. Oh, you're gonna make me cry.